So, Date got into a bit of trouble, um, last time. Uh, it clearly says save the date. I'm not sure if this means that we were on an outing and are now supposed to save our lover, or if this is like a calendar thing and today is special. Kiri's got no time for dates right now. Uh, false. <laughs> I've seen you play the hostess minigame. Well, we had we, we we had to do that to go hang out with Majima. Then what do you call sorry, Majima? Gormi. Then what do you call Gormi? Um. Fuck. Hey, she's a classy lady. How dare you? <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, so what I was doing is I am getting ready for this fight because this fight had me stonewalled the uh, first time through I played this. God, you have like no... Why haven't you spent points on stuff? Uh, because I'm lazy. Spend more points. Do the thing. That's what I'm trying... That's what I'm considering right now. Like, wh how, how best to spend my uh, 50 points? Probably wasn't that... I don't know, damage weapon is actually pretty handy. Like, I'm going to make good use of that later. You better. I'm gonna be watching you like a hawk now. <laughs> In hindsight, I probably should have cut out uh, most of this, but eh. we're dealing with it. I feel like. In a game like this, sometimes it helps to show off like how you're building your character. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been cutting out most of the, uh, the leveling I've been doing, but mm. for the most part, you, the general idea is Kiryu gets stronger. Oh, right, Date's over here. Oi! Date-san! Sumane! はるかが分かってる。おい、こいつデカだぞ。そうだ、間違いねえ。俺はな、昔こいつにパクられたんだ。もう十分だろ。まだだ。厄介殺しても足らねえ。でしょ、引っかけろ。一発殴んねえと気
マジマ組のやつらだマジマ組よりによってマジマの兄さんか伊達さんはセレナで待っててくれだがそれじゃその体じゃマジマ組を相手にするのは厳しいそれよりもレーナが心配だ一人にしないでやってくれ分かった気をつけろよあ、uh, I took a quick look over at the park to show that Majima is no longer there because you know he's Taking Haruka to the batting cages. Um, this is actually part of the original storyline. So, uh, the Majima we're about to see here has not a whole lot in common with the Majima we've been hanging out with for the past like 22 episodes. Hmm. Is this first, because he's like finally started wearing a shirt? Um, no. Damn. You'll see what I mean. His eye patch is on the other eye. No, no, that's the that's the movie directed by Takashi Miike. <laughs> Kiryu, you. you want to save the girl, you have to hit three home runs in a row. <laughs> Failure to do so, and you are out. Sashiburiya no, Kiruja. But ya, urishu te tamaran no ya. Dojima no ryu to chokusetsu yari yaeru. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Majima everywhere Majima and plot Majima. It's very jarring. I can't believe this game has a failing. Like, I, I understand why they didn't, but it's just it's super weird to introduce the Majima everywhere system and then just keep this as is. That's it. I'm reading this worse than Glover. <laughs> Anyway, to fight Mad Dog Style, I highly recommend Rush Style so you can just like weave in and out behind him because he is fast and he will fuck you up if you let him. I always love when you're like, ah, Kiri is such a badass and then you get hit in like in the face with a baseball bat or a wooden <laughs> katana and oh, you, gotta, you really should stick to Rush Mode as you switch to Brawler and lose all your, your special bar. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to mix it up, but I think practicality is going to win out here. It's okay. I'm probably worse at this whole like explaining stuff during gameplay. I'll, yeah. just, I'll just be like, you should do stealth <laughs> as I go around shooting everybody in Hitman. <laughs> so, naturally we want to use the Beast Tawami action when that comes up. It's good that he doesn't go for a red aura, because uh, dragon style was Kiryu's final style in uh, Zero. Hmm. And there is literally no way to have a Kiwami heat act, or dragon Kiwami action at this point of the game, because you need to... I think you get that at Majima rank, everywhere rank SSS. SSS. Also, check out these sick dodges. And his fucking boomerang knife. Uh, that's it. Uh, this this fight is better than the Krauser fight. Also, that fucking punch is amazing. <laughs> so halfway through the fight, Majima is gonna switch to Slugger style, and this is where he gets even more dangerous. Like. It feels like he has more super armor than usual, like even compared to Slugger Majima from any other fight in the game. I, it also feels like he hits harder too. Mm. Honestly, it's hard for me to tell. Yeah, I, I can't really get a good gauge on how much damage he's actually doing. It just feels like he hits harder. Like I said, uh, this fight stonewalled me the first time I played this game. Granted, I didn't know the virtues of Rush Style and uh, the infinite weaving, but... He he's fucking hard. Um, if you really, really need, like, a hand, pick up any of these bats and just go for a heat action. Coincidentally, he was uh, charging or regenerating, so that helps a lot. Like, even if the uh, heat action damage penalty kicks in, you can still, like, take the, take the heat off yourself for just a little bit. <laughs> no pun intended. I'm really disappointed that when you threw that bat, it did hit him. Uh, I mean, what are you gonna do when you, he dodges? I mean, it didn't look like he dodged, this is the thing. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you didn't need that. You're Better to one, play it safe than sorry. You're one heat action away. No, I need a little more before I I feel comfortable with uh going for heat action. Now you're just gonna cheat. That was not the item I thought I had. And yeah, next thing you know, you're gonna pull out your gun. No, no, we're going for a classic. <laughs> I call it dramatic irony. あ、<笑> 
いつをやるのはわしだけなんじゃマジおやじおやじおい救急車だ早くしろやおじさんはるか怖かった怖かったよ<笑>遅くなったな<笑>すまなかったなはるかお前のことを守ってやれなかった怖かったろうん縛られて真っ暗な部屋にでも外が急にうるさくなってそしたら知らないおじさんが来て逃げなって知らないおじさん誰だきりいやお礼を言ったらペンダントは持ってるかって何のことだこれ弓お姉ちゃんが。お母さんはなんでお母さんに会えないのごめんね嫌だよお母さんに会いたい弓お姉ちゃんお願いお母さんに会わせてねえお願いねえはるかちゃん,ん今日はこれを持ってきたのお母さんが持ってたペンダントお母さんのそうはるかちゃんにって預かってきたんだだからもう少し待ってあげてねうん大事なお守りだからこれ持ってること知らない人に話しちゃダメよすごく大事なはるかちゃんだけのお守りだからそのペンダントを知らないおじさんは欲しがったのかううん大事に持ってなさいってこれには。100億の価値があるんだよって見せてみろ鍵付きか無理やりこじ開けるってなダメよ言ってみただけだはるかそのおじさん顔は覚えてるか真っ暗だったから全然でもその人桐生のおじさんにペンダントのこと伝えてくれって。俺の名前をうん何者なんだ一体さあな一つだけ確かなのは俺たちはいつの間にか事件の中心に置かれていたってことだ。<音楽>